What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here and today guys I would like to give a full tutorial of the iOS 4.3.5 jailbreak. Now there are two downsides to this jailbreak but the mostly pros but the, there's two cons and those cons are the fact that you cannot jailbreak the iPad 2 with this and the jailbreak is tethered. Uh, you're gonna have to point it to I was 4.3.4 firmware. It's the same. I think it's Red Snow 0.9.8 beta 3. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, so guys, this jailbreak is really simple. And again, you understood what I said, the cons. And uh, so let's get right into how to do it. Okay, guys, you're going to need two files if you don't already have iOS 4.3.5 on your device. Links will be in the description for all of the links you need. Okay, go ahead and pop open Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 3. Browse for your firmware. Again, you're going to point it at iOS 4.3.4. Make sure you find it. Make sure it's not 4.3.5. Go ahead and select that. Wait for Red Snow to browse it. processing. IPSW successfully identified. Go ahead and let the preparing jailbreak thing do its work. I still don't know what processing kernel means. RAM disk and all that stuff. Let that finish up and uh, now you're going to choose install Cydia if this is your first time. If it's not your first time you're going to check just boot tethered right now. So if, in case your device dies or anything select that. But if it's your first time choose install Cydia. Power off your device and click next and hold down the power for a second, uh, three seconds, hold down home and power for ten seconds, and then after the ten seconds are up, just give it a minute, then go ahead and just hold down the home button for twenty seconds or until it tells you to stop. And guys, that's all there is to it. If you like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Click the button up top. I usually don't do jailbreak tutorials, guys, because everybody, well, the dev team, rather, is always updating the jailbreaks, so it's not that easy to stay in touch and be able to update you guys that frequently, considering the fact all the editing that has to go into making the videos and downloading stuff, it's, it's not that easy, so, you know, but this is kind of like the iOS 4.3.4 and 4.3.5 jailbreak, so two firmwares, that's kind of a big update, so I figured... I'd go ahead and give the tutorial, as in most of my videos, I don't give tutorials a lot, but hopefully this helps, guys, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully the room tour. Alright, peace.